Okay, so this video was suggested by a guy called uh, Raging Wolf, who I'll put on screen right now. Um, he's got a, a very good YouTube channel. I think around 300 subs was there. I can't even remember now. Um, but he makes some really good videos, some nice thumbnails on there. Uh, I think he's just got started back up within the past week. Uh, he's made a Daisy movie. Uh, which is very nice and also has played some Gmod murder in the past. So go check him out, I'll put his link in the description. This video was suggested by him and I'm happy to do it. So it's all about the daisy settings, my settings really, uh, compared to anything else. But the first thing I do uh, just to increase the FPS is what you want to do is you want to navigate to where your DZ is located. So mine is located on my SSD, um, which Dean Hall said himself it actually does help with the performance of the game. So you go to program files times 86. This is if you've got a 64 bit operating system, which if you're running DZ, you probably should have. Uh, you go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, DZ and find the application, the .exe uh, actual file. What you want to do is uh, right click on it, go on properties, and then compatibility. I I already have this uh, checked, but what you want to do, this will probably be unchecked. And what you want to do is you want to check this box, run this program in compatibility mode 4, and it'll probably be in like Windows 95. What you want to do is select Windows XP Service Pack 3. Uh, don't play around with any of this because it'll make the game look really terrible. This doesn't actually alter the quality of the game as such, it, but it it does give some FPS boost. Uh, so that's the main thing. Next thing you want to do is you want to navigate the way your uh, documents are, obviously on your PC. You'll find a folder called DayZ, uh, and here is a CFG file. I've got it set to open in Notepad, so if you click Open With, keep using Notepad for me. Make sure that uh, if you're on a 1080p screen, you've got this set to 1920, and this one set to 1080. Then, uh, same with the render one. And if you have a 720 or whatever your uh, thing is, you just put your resolution in there. It will probably already do it anyway because it tends to be an um, uh, automatic thing. So I haven't actually done this, but what you can do if you want is set ma GPU max frames head to 1. And then you also set this to 1. And then you go save. However, um, whenever I do this, I, I honestly don't know if this is true or this is just a coincidence. Whenever I've done this in the past, it seems to be that I can't render through Windows um, as easily because Daisy only runs on DirectX 9 instead of DirectX, DirectX 11. Uh, so I'm not actually going to do that. I'm just going to. Don't save. So that's a thing you can do if you're feeling you need more FPS. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is go into your actual Daisy game, your EXE, and uh, so this will be your character here. Mine's just a fresh spawn because I got killed by hackers last night. Uh, so I'm going to show you my settings, which uh, going to configure. Um, I tend to have my voice chat above my effects. Uh, because I feel the need to hear people over anything else. Uh, field of view, I usually set it to about here. Uh, but again, it was just set there from last night. Controls, assignments. What you want to do with this one is um, for your hold breath button, in case a lot of you don't already know. Infantry weapons, it's on hold breath. And this all, if you click like edit or something, or any key or drag, if you you want to click uh, left control, it does say it does as it's uh, blocked or used up by the move head thing, but it actually isn't, so I won't worry about that. So that's a little tip, of, especially for s sniping, because um, sometimes like 
it's binded to the right mouse button as well as you zooming in so you won't notice it as easily so that's the main th uh, the other thing the main thing is the video okay so I have my rendering resolution on a hundred percent there's no point in put turning it up because it won't look any better uh, you can turn it down if you want but it isn't gonna look as good and for me recording making videos out of it I need to make it look decent so I'll start with user interface I've got this set to the highest possible for me size I had it on was it large yeah large and 16 by 9 textures I do normally have this on uh, two gigabytes of video memory it'll start receiving so don't worry about that uh, try not to change it in game especially if you're in the middle of a firefight it doesn't matter too much but it will give you a bit of a FPS boost currently I'm running uh, NVIDIA GTX 760 it's a two gigabyte one um, so this is based off my spec my specification if you've got uh, a less good graphics card it might not run the same if you've got an even better one then it, that's great so texture detail of mine on high just because to save FPS very setting it to very high doesn't really make much difference to me texture filtering uh, I find if I have it on disabled it doesn't look right uh, if you have it on very low uh, it's the best because if you have it on something like high or very high or normal or whatever it's okay on low but normal to very high uh, you'll often find it hard to see objects on the ground uh, I found so that's my textures quality I have objects on very low this is for a gameplay purpose not to make the game look good uh, if I set it to very high, you'll notice that the grass pops up, the trees pop up, everything pops up. If I set it back down to very low, uh, everything goes back down again. You can set it to low, but even then, from low to very high, it doesn't actually make much difference apart from on the trees. So I set mine to very low, just so that I can see players who are hiding in the grass or the trees or whatever. Terrain I have to set to high instead of very high, but obviously for FPS, purposes if I set this to very low you'll see all the grass disappears uh, however I don't necessarily like that I like to have grass there but with the objects off you'll still be able to see players in it uh, if you set it to very high the the actual ground will smooth out so it will be easier to see players on horizon clouds disabled I did have this on low at one point, but I noticed a very big FPS drop. So I would just keep this on disabled because clouds take up a lot of uh, FPS. Shadows, I have mine on low. Um, if you have them on disabled, everything just looks light. It doesn't look very nice. You can have them on very low. Uh, I have mine on low. Very high. Uh, as you'll see, it starts receiving. Yeah, very high. Uh, well, doesn't really make that much difference apart from the fact that they're a lot uh, more discreet in a way, um, and they'll be a lot more. Well, they'll be a lot more discreet in places, but a lot more obvious in others. So I just keep mine on low, uh, just to make the game look okay. Rendering, I have anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing is it? Or AA, whatever. I do normally have this on low, but I put this down to low because I was having a bit of a glitch last night. Uh, alpha to coverage disabled. You can turn this onto all grass plus trees if you want. It doesn't really make much difference to FPS. I have this disabled because I feel like whenever I put this on, it makes it look like a comic. HDR quality low. This just makes everything look a little bit lighter uh, without ruining the game. Um, as such, especially at night, you'll notice uh, it being lighter. Ambient occlusion, if you disable this and disable post-process, you can see that uh, the game just looks quite normal, uh, if you know what I mean by that. It, it doesn't look like anything particularly special. Uh, if you put it on enabled and then you have to have post-process, 
uh, post process on uh, low at least to have ambient occlusion enabled. It's a bit of a stupid idea, but as you can see, if I disable it and then enable it, you can see it just emphasizes all the shadows and the post process makes everything uh, kind of blurs the edges of the screen a little bit. Uh, you won't notice this when you're standing still, uh, however, you will when you're running and also when you're aiming through a scope. So it, it's a nice, it, it's nice to look at, and for, once you get used to it, it doesn't affect the gameplay at all. Uh, I just have it on to make my videos look nice. Bloom, I really wouldn't have this on at all because it just, yeah, it kind of emphasizes on the light a bit. It, it doesn't look great. So I just have that off. Rotation blur. I've never been able to get rotation blur to work. I think that's just a bit of a buggy thing. So that's my rendering. And yeah, so this is all of it. I, I wouldn't go with any of these uh, pre settings or whatever you want to call them. Those are my brightness and gamma. V sync disabled just so you can get the maximum FPS possible. Um, so V-Sync always disabled. So that's about it guys. Go check out Raging Wolf and those have been my PC, uh, my Daisy video settings. I'll put a link for my PC build in the description as I always do. Uh, so you can have a look on what I'm running compared to yours and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.